Let's go ahead for Crown Maths today. We're looking at National Five Maths and in particular functions. And what is a function? Well, what is a function is that we've got two things here, input and an output. Imagine I've got some numbers going in. I pick one, two, three, four, but I could pick anything. And it maps to a particular number and I get two, four, six, and eight. So some sort of instruction is happening in the middle to get me two, four, six, and eight. Now that instruction could be something simple like add one, take away one, times divide, or it could be something much more complicated. But in this case for this function, uh, one goes to two, two goes to four, three goes to six, and four goes to eight, so I'm times and by two. So we could say that if I had an x here, this would be two x. And that is exactly what a function is. It takes an input, and gives an output. Now, in the context of National 5 Maths, we use something called function notation. But before we get into that, let's take a look from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Lecky, and they are offering viewers of this channel 30% off of any of their books. All you have to do is use the code Clever Maths, and the link to their books is down below. Now let's look at a couple of their books to highlight. We have got National 5 Maths and Higher Maths, and these are complete revision and practice. Two books in one, we cover the whole course. Here's a random page, for instance, working simultaneous equations algebraically. You can see how good that book is and how clear it looks. But also at the end, practice exam papers that look exactly like the SQA exam papers that are published. Discount code Clever on Maths. Click the link to order now. Took the same kind of table there, but put it in an X and Y table, looking like a straight line thing here. And I've got 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, 10. So since we're doubling to get to the bottom line, you can see that's going up in twos. It's like a sequence. I can say that to get y, I times the top by 2, 2x. But I could call this a function notation. So I could say that f of x, which is exactly the same as y, just equals 2x. And that function notation kind of is cluing me in that f of x is equivalent or the same as y for most purposes. Let's do an example of using that function notation. A function f of x is defined as 2x plus 3, and we have to use f of 5. Well, what does that mean? Well, in the context of our table above there, if we look this table up, x is just a replaceable number with any number up the top. So if I want f of 5, 5 is getting replaced by x, so I'll do 2 times 5 in this case. So for this example here, f of x is 2x plus 3. So to work out f of 5, I just do 2 times 5 plus 3. That's 10 add 3, which is 13. Now, if you see examples with these grey boxes, they come from an excellent website called maths.scot, and you can get full solutions to these on there, plus extra past papers and a lot of materials for your work. Example 2, functions defined as f of x is 7 minus 3x, find f of minus 4. So it's the same idea, I write f of minus 4 equals 7 minus 3, and it's times minus 4. Now watch your bit mass here. A minus times a minus is a plus, so it's 7 add 12, which is 19. Example 3, a function is defined as a little bit harder. f of x is 4x squared minus 4x plus 2, find f of 6. So f of 6, every single x has become 6. So I've got 4 times 6 squared, minus 5 times 6, plus 2. Being careful, 4 times 36, minus 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2. 4 times 36, if you need a little help at the side, 4 6s is 24, 4 3s is 12, 13, 14. 1 4 4, minus 30, plus 2. And now you just do it in the order it's written, because it's just take away and adds. So 144 minus 30 is 114, plus 2 is 116, and we're done there. Example, example 4, our function is defined as f of x is x plus 3x minus 5, find f of 7. So again, x becomes 7. 7 plus 3, 7 minus 5. 7 plus 3 is 10, 7 minus 5 is 2, that is 20. Example 5, a function is defined as f of x is f 5x minus 1. Given that f of a equals 29, find a. Now this is the other type where we're telling you that this function here is 29. So 29 equals this. But in all we've done as well is change the x to an a. No big deal. So 5a instead of x minus 1 now equals 29. The function equals 29. Solving an equation, add 1 to both sides. Oops, I've got an x, a, plus 1, plus 1. That's 30, 
and then divide by 5, 30 over 5, which is 6. A is 6. You can check that, of course. 5 times 6 is 30, minus 1 is 29. f of x is the square root of 3x plus 4, and f of t equals 8. So find t. So again, we'll replace an x with t. So I've got the square root of 3t plus 4, with the whole thing equals 8. Well, how do you work that out? Well, I need to get rid of the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. So that gives me 3t plus 4. 8 squared is 64. Now I can take away 4 from both sides to get 3t equals 60. 60. And then t is 60 divided by 3, which of course is 20. Check your answer. 3 times 20 is 60, plus 4 is 64. If you square root 64, you get back to 8, which is what we're looking for. Okay, next example, 1 plus 4 over x, f of a equals 9. So the whole thing equals 9. 1 plus 4 over, that's a instead of x, equals 9. So we end up with an algebraic equation to solve once again. So first step, I'll, I'll isolate the fraction with a in it. So take away 1, I get 4 over a equals 8. Taking times both sides by a. So if you times this side by a, you get 4, and the other side by a, you get 8. You can think of this as 8 times a equals 4 times, well, it's like a 1. Now a is 4 over 8, which simplifies to 1 half. And there we are. Past papers on this, S Square National 5 Maths 2015, paper 2, question 2. f of x is 3x plus 2. f of a equals 23, find a. 3a plus 2 equals 23. Take away 2 and 2, 3a is 21, divide by 3 to get 7, and we're done there. S Gray National 5 Maths 2017, paper 1, question 1 on functions. f of x is x squared plus 3x, evaluate f of minus 5. So it doesn't say equals minus 5, it says x is minus 5. So I write f of minus 5, if the number's in brackets, it means that every x becomes minus 5. Making sure I sub it in right, minus 5 squared, a minus times a minus is a plus, 25. 3 times minus 5 is minus 15, so I get 10. And we're done there. Green National 5 Maths 2018, paper 2, question 6. 5 plus 4x is a function. f of a equals 73, find a. So x becomes a to start with. S. Gray, National 5 Maths, 2019, paper 1, question 1. f of x is 5x cubed, evaluate f of minus 2. So x has become minus 2, 5 minus 2 cubed. That's 5 times, well, minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 is minus 8. 2 times 2 times 4 times 2 is 8, but it's minus 8 because it's a minus times a minus times a minus. 5 times 8 is 40, so it's minus 40, and we're done there. S Gray National 5 Maths 2021, paper 1, question 16. A function f of x is defined as f of x is 4 sine 3x. Evaluate f of 90. Now you might not have done actual trigonometry yet, but I'll do this for the sake of completeness. So f of 90, don't be worried by weird questions. Just shove 90 in for x, that's your step. f of 90 is equal to 4 sine 3 times 90. Put that in brackets just to be clear. So that's 4 sine. Now 3 times 90 is 270. So it's actually, what's the sine of 270? Well, this is a kind of trig graph question now. So let's just make it grade A by bringing in a different skill. If I draw a trig graph, that's what the sine graph looks like. 90, 180, 270, 360, and it goes from 1 to minus 1. That's a sine graph there. 270 is here. And at 270, it equals minus 1. So I can say that this is 4 times minus 1, which is minus 4. Don't worry if you don't get that too much right now. Wait till later in the year when we do trig graphs. S Gray National 5 Maths, 2022, paper 1, question 2. f of x is x cubed minus 2. Evaluate f of minus 3. f of minus 3 is minus 3 cubed. Take away 2. So 
Cubed means times by itself and times by itself again. 3 freezes is 9 times 3 is 27. And now I need to decide if it's minus. Well, if there are minus times a minus, which is a plus, then times a minus again, so it's a minus. Minus, and then take away 2. So negative numbers, minus 27, take away 2, is minus 28, minus 29. So I'm going away for 0. Minus 29 is the answer. S we National 5 Maths 2024. Paper 1 question 2 on functions. F of x is x plus 3 all squared. Find f of 7. So x is 7. So that's 7 plus 3 still squared. That's 10 squared. 10 times 10 is 100. And we're done there. So that's the for Cloud Maths. And today we've done the whole of functions for National 5 Maths. Hope you find that useful. Stick around for next week's National 5 Maths lesson. Take care. Stay safe and goodbye.